All right, guys, little video that I wanted to do for a good while. Um, I get a lot of people messaging me. Um, best place to sit off at the airport, you know, especially friends and family as well. So, like, my mate's going to pick up his beard or whatever, doesn't know where to go, which way to go, panicked if he takes the wrong exit, uh, where's the best place to sit off? Because normally, when you're picking someone up at the airport, you need to get to the airport handy and sit off somewhere. Now, taxis and private high vehicles and Ubers and all that have their own designated place to sit off, um, but the public don't. So I'm going to show you uh, where the best place to sit off for the public, and also I'm going to drive around and record the actual airport and show just the different drop-off and pick-up locations and stuff, and just show you the little map, a visual map of what the airport is like, and uh, take that fear away that it's actually... It's not like a little scary place to pick up or drop off. It's quite chill. Just expensive. <laughs> uh, make sure as well, by the way, that you do not <clears throat> pick up outside or drop off outside the drop off and pick up locations. They're all cammed up. They're onto it now. And you will get fines for the post, guys. So, um, yeah. So, the first thing I want to point out, the best place to sit off waiting for someone is a BP slash Costa garage. You can grab yourself a little coffee or whatever and wait to get some juice. Um and it's about five, ten minutes from the airport. So I'll share the location below this video in the comment in the, in the description. So if you want to know where to sit off, waiting for the plane to land, uh, that is the best place. So I'm still taxis I use it as well. Um and it's free. I think it's free up to three hours as long as you're a customer. So buy a coffee or whatever. And it's pretty chill. So that's that's what step one. And then two and three. It just is watch the video and um, yeah. Any questions about Manchester Airport picking up, dropping off, or anything like that? Ask me a, ask me a question in the comments and I'll try my best to reply. Uh, hopefully this video has been nice and insightful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you. All right, guys. Hope you can see it nice and clear. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to do um, a little drive in. So currently I'm driving in, into the Manchester grounds airport grounds via the M56 coming from Manchester, but if you're coming from Liverpool, it, it leads you onto the same road, right? One thing I wanted to point out first is where you've got your Terminal 1 and your Terminal 2 and your Terminal 3 exits, it doesn't actually matter which one you take, you can get to each terminal from each um, ramp coming onto the airport. So as you can see from the sign on the top at the moment, it says T2, keep left, and then T1 and 3, keeping the right lanes. But like I said, you can access all terminals, drop off and pick up from any way you want to go. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you where the free drop off is and the private hire waiting area. Uh, because obviously most of you people who watch me are Uber drivers and taxi drivers. So let's have a go. So you come off a T2 and you take your first left. Probably following this Prius, <laughs> who is a current Uber driver, or not taxi driver. Then look, or private hire driver. Apologies to the acronyms who uh, get offended when I use their word. Dun, 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 dun. Right. So at these lights, you take your first left. I'll pause it for a sec, and we're off. So I'll turn left of these lights. So you come off at T2, you take your first left, first left again. And as you're driving down here, on your left, you'll see the free drop off, uh, where you can get a free shuttle bus to any terminal. Uh, and also you can um, enter the private hire waiting area. I've already done a video on, on how to access that. So you've got to check that out on my channel. But see the yellow button stops on the right? That's the free drop off. And then through the barriers, right through the barriers to the back, is the private hire waiting area. As you can see, all the taxis sitting there waiting for a job. So, all right, let's leave here. So, once I've done this video, I'll be going and sitting there myself and uh, hopefully wait for the job back. But at the moment, there is loads of cars and not many flights. So, we'll see if I just drive home empty. <laughs> right? So we're going back on ourselves now and then heading back to the roundabout we come off on at the start of the journey. 
So where we come off at Terminal 2, this is the roundabout that we come off onto, you know where it's saying left. So now, when you come off T2, you take a right on the actual roundabout, and then we'll guess we're following this bus. Now, this roundabout here, uh, at the bottom of the bottom of the Radisson Blue, this is the T2 pickup, um, the drop off, everything about it. Even the overheight is here. If your car is over two meters tall, you have to go to a different pickup location. So I'm just going to drive around this roundabout, dead straight forward. So on the left there, the first turning is the pickup and a T2 West pickup point, and then that is the drop off zone. So no to five minutes, a fiver. <laughs> So you literally got to throw everyone out the car as quick as you can. So that is T2, nice and simple. So now follow the signs, T1, T3. So it is very, it's signposted quite well. So like I said, you can get to all the um, terminals and the drop off and pickups from any location. They're all connected by these little roads. So now the next one you're going to see on the other side of that roundabout is the it's the multi-story. That is the T1 pickup point. So if you're picking someone up at T1, you have to go to that one over the other side of the roundabout. I will drive past it for you now. So we've covered T T2 pickup and drop off. This is T1 pickup only. You do not drop them off here. There we go. And up to 30 minutes, six quid. So the way we just drove past there, that is where you pick people up. You do not drop off there. Okay? Because you get shouted at. And now we're on our way round now towards the T1 drop off and then the T3. Right, T3, by the way, is the furthest terminal away. Um, it's right at the back. It's the biggest pain to pick up and it's a well, drop off and it's a massive pain to pick up. Now, on this roundabout, You'll see this ramp here, T1, welcome to T1. Up there is the drop-off zone, guys, yeah? Now, if your car or bus is over two meters, on the other side of this roundabout, you'll see it on your right. You know what, I will actually go around it. I'm in the wrong lane, so I have to cut over slightly. No cars are coming, guys, before you start moaning. So go around the roundabout, and there we go. That is another T1 drop off. You can drop off there in a car as well if you want, um, but that is mainly um, for overheights. So you can actually go up the up ramp and drop off there, like you've seen before. Now I'm going back around this roundabout. Now see, you got T3. Same again. Do 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 do. Now the. I think the drop off is down here, one second. Like I said, it's a proper pain, T3, it's right at the back of the airport. Now here on the right is T3 pickup, but the problem is you can only pick up and it's about a 10 minute walk away from, it's about a 10 minute walk from the actual um, terminal. So people have to actually walk to the terminal and you've got to meet them in a car park 10 minutes away, so it's a pain in the bum. And then right here at this roundabout at the end of the airport, is terminal three drop off zone which you'll see now and this is t3 drop off don't forget guys you're all cameraed up do not pick up anywhere or drop off anywhere that you shouldn't do there is t3 drop off a 5f for five minutes thanks guys